Sharky Gamer here. So as many of you know, I've reviewed the PlayStation VR headset. The video is actually on my channel right now. But as an extension to that review, I thought of covering some actual VR games. So I'm going to do a bit of a Let's Play series where I play a short kind of chunk out of various VR games and kind of show you what they're like and also share my thoughts about them as well. So to start this VR playthrough series, I thought we'll start with VR Worlds. But before we go into the actual gameplay experiences, I would like to show both the intro animation as well as the main menu of this game. Because I think they're pretty cool. And if this is the first game that you try in VR, they probably blew your mind a little bit. Uh, because they're just so well designed and they look pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's go have a look at that. But don't worry, very soon there'll be another video up and we'll go through all the experiences of this game as well as more VR in the near future. Enjoy. Alright, so this is the intro animation scene of VR Worlds. It's pretty cool. I'll see you in a sec. So it starts off with the logos, and you can see there's like particles floating in front of me. And it sort of opens up. You can look down at the floor below. You can see some particles sort of coming towards you. Looks pretty awesome. You can really gauge this depth. And it opens up revealing this like awesome, huge, cathedral-like structure. You can look right up. Looks amazing and the scale is just incredible. You feel like you're in this huge building. Cool particle effects coming right towards you. Some floating bullet shells. So that was the intro scene, and I think it, it's pretty incredible intro. At the scale, I mean, just look at this place around you. It looks incredible. You can't really tell from the flat screen most you guys are going to be watching on. But if you've ever tried VR before and you try this, the scale is just incredible. You can look all around you, you can look behind you. You can look at the details of the pillars. looks incredible and of course you can see your controller in front of you in VR space and you can also play with things in front of you and when you go into the menu this is your main menu and of course you have various options here uh, this is Ocean Descent in front of me, and you've got this ball of water. You can interact with it, but you can also put your head inside of it. And it kind of feels like you're dunking your head underwater. Pretty cool. Um, next along, you've got Scavenger's Odyssey here, and you've got these like, cool rocks floating around a planet. And you can kind of interact with everything. And they follow the planet. This rock kind of planet. Looks really awesome. And then of course you've got VR Luge, and this is a sphere in front here. You can hit it, it feels more heavier than the others, but you can also create sparks. 
pretty awesome particle effects. pretty cool. Um, the next one is the London Hearst, and this is like a big diamond in front of you. And you can see there's like uh, floating bullet shells all around as well, kind of falling on the floor there. And kind of cool because it sounds like uh, you're clinking on a diamond, like glass almost pretty cool. And then you got Danger Ball, which is probably the closest thing to an actual ball instead of this normal sphere. Um, and you can hit this, and it bounces all over the place. And then it'll come back to you, and you can hit it again, and it just flies all around you until it comes back around. It's pretty cool. So you can have plenty of fun just on the main menu, just kind of playing around with these spheres. Um, just having fun um, messing around with these. Um, and you can go back and forth between them. Um, so it's pretty cool. So overall I think they've done the, the both the intro animation pretty cool, as well as the main menu. Um, because it's a lot of fun just to kind of play around. And, kind of experiment on what you can and can't do, because you can hit your head with these things too. You can sort of headbutt them. Um, but it's more fun just to play around with the spheres. Uh, but it feels tangible, it feels like you're actually here, you can see your controller in front of you, and when you make contact, you actually make contact, and it feels really satisfying. Okay, so now you've seen the intro animation and the main menu of PlayStation VR Worlds. Now, why did I decide to show this? Well, this was the first game I played when I got my VR headset. I wanted to show you it because the very first time I put that headset on, and I saw that intro animation, it was incredible. It looked amazing, um, the quality of it was way more than I expected it to be. It was really cool. And then when I went to the main menu and you started like using the jewel shop to kind of play with those floating spheres, it was just really cool. Um, you kind of spent a couple of minutes just on the main menu kind of fooling around with it. Um, and then when I heard you could put your, you actually lean forward and put your head in that water sphere and it sounds like you're underwater. I mean, that's pretty cool, especially since VR is quite a, a new toy to play around with. Those couple of things were really cool mechanics they put in there. Obviously, so you can just kind of play around with it and kind of look at the kind of scale of that like entry cathedral type thing um, it's meant to kind of just be just like whoa this is really cool so that's why if you pick up this game as the first experience then you'll get this and it's pretty cool it is pretty damn cool um, but don't worry guys I just wanted to make this really short video just kind of just briefly glancing on the, the intro animation as well as that main menu because I thought it was worth sharing but um, the next video will be Ocean Descent, which is the shark in the counter. So that'll be next. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I am Sharky Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep an eye for my rest of my videos, which will be coming very shortly. Thanks again for watching, guys.